this is a new clamping arrangement I'm trying with this aluminium plate uh, right here bolted through the faceplate um, with some 3 16 BSW bolts. And there's another one going down the middle there which is pressing down on the, the, um, the bearing holes in that, uh, in that casting there, keeping it really stable. And I'm also trying the same kind of suggested clamping method. Um, this one's actually from the Building Vertical Steam Engines books, but using some forked shaped pieces of aluminium bolted through. Um, and it's much more stable, much more reliable uh, than trying to use the swan neck clamps. And if you wanted to see some machining, here is me boring out the standard. And this is the crosshead guide, uh, and I'm, I'm boring it out now. Um, it's quite important there's a good finish on this part, so I'm using the automatic feed. Uh, so that's why I'm able to film this. I actually have got a, a tripod and a, um, a mic stand uh, arriving soon, so there'll be a lot more stable engineering shots very soon. Um, but as you can see, I've gone, gone in halfway, I guess, and I'm backing it out again. Um, I found that there was a real problem with the rigidity on this tool because I had so much stick out. But you'll see though, that's that uh, 5 8 piece of steel and it fits in perfectly. Um, there's no, um, no tapering of the hole. I'm really pleased. And so this is the bit I ended up with and I've ground loads off. That original shoulder there was square. Uh, and that's how much I had to had to get out, which was um, a bit challenging. Um, I was really hoping that I could use these carbide tipped boring bars, um, but they were the diameter required to start boring them was larger than the finished diameter of the hole. So I think that's going to be a challenge to do the cylinder. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can use them at some point in the future.